Hi, everybody. Welcome. We're going to give everybody just another couple of seconds to log in. We still see, see some attendees uh, logging in, so we'll give everybody just another second before we get started. But we're glad you're here. Thank you for joining us today. All right, I think everybody's here. So thank you again and welcome. Uh, welcome to today's webinar. Today we're thrilled to have Mikola Melnik with us. He's the lead developer of the Spark OCR library at John Snow Labs. And he's here to discuss accurate table extraction from documents and images with Spark OCR. Before we get started though, I'd like to just go ahead and go over a couple of quick housekeeping items. Uh, please take note that your console is fully customizable. You can expand or collapse any of the screens. We'll be using the Q&A as well as the chat panel to answer any questions. So please feel free to use those and submit your questions there. And then we'll also be wrapping up at the end with a live Q&A. Um, <clears throat> and also keep an eye out for an email coming within the next couple of days. It's gonna have a link to the recording of this session as well as a quick survey. So with that, I will go ahead and turn it over to Mikola to get started. Hello, I'm Nikola Melnik and I'm leading for developing Spark OCR in John Snow Labs. And uh, we had uh, a lot of questions and requests about table extraction from the documents and images on previous uh, webinars. And also we had a lot of requests from our customers. So today we will talk about accurate table extractions uh, from documents and images with Spark OCR. So we have a lot of use cases when we need to, to analyze documents and these documents contain a lot of tables. So this is academical research papers, financial statements, clinical trial documentation. And uh, sometime uh, most of significant uh, data can be presented in the tables. So for us, very important to extract this data, use this data, and uh, that's why we have this functionality in Spark OCR. This are uh, some examples of tables which we can uh, found in our documents and uh, we have uh, very different tables. So sometimes border it, uh, border less tables, with background, without background. Uh, sometimes we have only horizontal lines or vert vertical. And uh, that's why sometimes hard to extract data with due to accuracy. And, uh, But uh, we want to have in our pipeline uh, when we analyze documents, uh, uh, data from the table or from the, our images will be present. Uh, want to have it present as data frame for processing our pipeline as notebooks or store it as CSV or for manual processing, store it to the, some Excel formats. But uh, for common way, we are using uh, OCR for extract, uh, for recognize text from the image documents, from PDF documents, scanning PDF documents. And uh, if we apply OCR to the image with the table, in most cases, we have misordered and uh, text. That's, uh, for some tables, we can have a good uh, output layout, but if we have a, a different number of lines in some cells, we will have uh, this type of misordering. 
and uh, we can't uh, and sometimes we have two columns of the text and uh, we have fully <laughs> disordered text and uh, really hard to process it uh, using uh, NLP or another uh, techniques uh, when we need to extract data. Uh, that's uh, why we have more uh, complex and good solutions. And uh, let's decompose the problem for table extraction. As first step, we should detect table. After that, detect cells and recognize text. And uh, on this example, we can see that we have a document page. It's a scanning document. And uh, as first step, we should detect a region with table. So this uh, classical computer vision problem. And uh, after that, uh, we can recognize uh, cells. And uh, as next step, we can recognize uh, text inside each cells. Let's uh, deep dive to the table detection problem. Uh, we have implemented uh, more few models in uh, Spark OCR, and it's based on the Cascada mask region based uh, convolution high resolution networks. It's an uh, evaluation of faster CNN, masked uh, RCNN, but have more good accuracy on this type of task. And uh, right now it's demonstrated uh, state of the art accuracy for some of the important data sets in this area. For training our models, uh, we are using uh, data sets from the ICDR competitions for table recognition, table detections, and uh, Microsoft Table Bank uh, data sets. And our model demonstrated uh, the accuracy of this uh, for uh, this data set. We have uh, really great accuracy for ICDR 2013 data set and uh, good accuracy for another two one for ICDR 19 and table bank data sets. In Spark OCR, we have image table detector for it's a wrapper, it's a transformer for calling a model in Spark OCR. And uh, for usage, we should define uh, input column, which contain uh, image in data frame and uh, set output column, which will contain results of these regions for each uh, detected table on the page. Right now we have uh, pre-trained uh, three models which are available on the model hub. This is uh, some general model for table detection and uh, two models fine tuning uh, on ICDR, modern track and uh, on the second one, Fine tune it on the table bank uh, data set. For law to pre train it model, we should call a static method to pre train it. And uh, with uh, model name. Result of detection um, of the models. Uh, here, yeah. so we have a bounding box uh, of the tables. Page can contain one, two, or more tables, and model can detect it. 
And uh, for visualize uh, results, uh, we can use image draw of region transformer, which will uh, draw uh, detected regions to the original image. So we can have similar images in the notebook. So for the bug, our pipeline is in control quality. Also, this uh, we will talk uh, about uh, more detail about output when we we'll look uh, notebook. So let's uh, go to the cell detection problem. It's a second stage, and uh, we have few methods uh, implemented in Spark OCR. And first one is a contour method. Uh, and uh, we have original image. After that, we winterize it image. So by this uh, step, we will remove uh, background and have some standardization of the image, table image. And after that, we detecting uh, contours and uh, um, after that, we can uh, have, uh, as a result, we have detected cells. And But this method uh, uh, working only for border tables, when we have uh, lines, vertical, horizontal lines, but uh, this will not work for borderless uh, tables at all. So for this uh, use cases, we will have another one method, morphological method. We have same first steps, but uh, after that we remove it to lines for standardization of tables. As input uh, for this uh, algorithm can be border it and borderless uh, tables, and also combine it when we have only um vertical or only horizontal lines as uh, next step we blur it text so uh, during this step we detected uh, cells and for detect columns uh, we use we calculate uh, histogram for uh, this access and uh, with some thresholding uh, so we can uh, detect columns and same we steps we need for row detections this method uh, more useful because uh, it uh, works well for border it and border less and combined uh, tables Also, but this uh, method is not ideal, and we are working on a DL approach for this uh, for cell detection for have more good accuracy, and uh, this will be based on text detection and uh, or cell detection um, by the some. Uh, object no, as uh, computer vision object detection problem uh, because uh, sometimes they have uh, bad quality of uh, the images with some background uh, noise and uh, simple image detection uh, or image uh, processing approaches can't uh, work uh, with good accuracy that's uh, why we need uh, the L approach and uh, which uh, can demonstrate more good results. We are working on it uh, right now and uh, we'll release this soon. So for table detection, we have image table cell detector. As input, we need to use a column with uh, 
table image, which is produced by uh, image table detector. And uh, as output, we will have uh, a row of uh, cells in uh, output column. And also we can uh, choose algorithm, which we have implemented. And in your future, we will have more algorithms. And as a result, we will have an uh, array of uh, cells. So we have uh, coordinates, uh, x and y, and v and h for each cells. And the next step, we need to run text recognition for recognized text from each uh, cells. And for this purpose, we have image cell to text table uh, transformer, which uses it uh, output from previous uh, two transformers and uh, store output as a table structure to the output column. We can also set uh, some extra few parameters as margin and, uh, and we can strip uh, white spaces, extra white spaces from the output text, from the out recognized text. And the uh, result producing to will be in this uh, format, but this exploded, uh, already exploded uh, uh, structure from table structure. We will have example of the code in the notebooks. So uh, we we'll look into the detail, detail to the our transformers, and uh, right now we can uh, look to the common use cases and how to build pipelines. So if we need to process uh, images, we need to to use these three transformers and uh, image table detector, image table cell detector and image cells to text table uh, transformer in one single pipeline and the uh, output we will have uh, uh, column table column which contain table structure for each table on the page For processing PDF documents, uh, we also need to add to pipeline PDF to image transformer, which will render PDF to the image. So as input, we can use uh, searchable PDFs and uh, image-based PDF. This will work so, for two types. So now we can switch to the notebooks. So for start, we can go to throw the table detection notebooks. We have uh, four example notebooks in Spark OCR workshop uh, repository. Just one related to the table detection. So as usual, we need to define credentials, uh, start uh, Spark uh, sessions with Spark OCR and very important to define also NLP version because uh, Spark OCR using has dependency some classes from the Spark NLP for working with uh, deep learning models. So that's why we always need to have present Spark NLP in Spark sessions. 
After that, we can read some example images. It's the same as in presentation. We can display it using display image utility function. And here, definition of the simple pipeline for table detection and uh, visualization of the results. So we have image drum regions uh, transformer here. So we need to convert uh, image uh, from the binary format to the internal Spark OCR format by binary to image transformer. After that, we need to have image table detector and for visualization results, so we have image draw regions. After run, running this uh, cell, Spark OCR download model and uh, if model not present, Download it and store it to the local cache. And uh, if you will run next time, same code uh, model uh, Spark OCR will use uh, cached models. And for models uh, are hosted on the S3, so you need to set S3 credentials for her possibility to download models. And for after that, we can run pipeline and uh, display images with uh, output images. So we have, uh, we can set uh, any color, but uh, by uh, set uh, rectangle color in image drop regions, Here we have black and presentation, I use it in red. So next uh, one, uh, not a book with uh, cell recognition. Same uh, start, uh, but as input we have uh, uh, images which contain only table. So without uh, any other text of so this already cropped images. And this borderless uh, input table. Here we have a table cell detector and image cell uh, to text uh, transformer in one pipeline. And uh, for uh, present uh, results in more useful um, model, we need to explore the results because we have a table column with a table structure which contain a tables, a list of tables detected on the page. And for how results for single image, we need to, to explore it to the separate columns for how good uh, visualization of results. And in future, we also want to add uh, another format. So we want to have CSV and Excel. So in EH, uh, for EH table, we will have a separate row with a column which contain CSV or XLS. It will be maybe more useful for visualization sometime. So, uh, and uh, next uh, notebook contains end to end uh, example. So, this one uh, contains uh, image table detector. 
image table cell detector and image uh, cell to text table. And uh, also we need here image split regions transformer for how uh, image as separate uh, for have separate row for each uh, table uh, image. So this uh, transformer uh, extract a table image to separate column. And uh, also we have here image scholar. This uh, need for, if you have a small resolution for input image, we can scale it. So let's. As a result, uh, well, uh, we can see original image here. And uh, extracted uh, image, extracted uh, data for each table, for each uh, document, for each table, because we have on the um, for a few documents for first document and second one. Here we can notice that we have a few tables on the page for this example. And uh, that's why we have a uh, few tables in output. If need, we can filter results uh, by the table. And another one notebook related to the processing uh, PDF documents. So this uh, in most uh, same. So we can uh, read PDF and display PDF. We have added uh, display PDF utility function for display PDFs without any extra steps. Directly, uh, we can, uh, after reading her files to the data frame, we can display it using her display PDF function. And uh, this uh, page contains a single table on the page. And in most, it's similar to previous one. We only have one extra transformer, PDF to image. And uh, also, I added for demonstrate results image draw regions to this uh, pipeline. So we can also we can run trans pipeline and. Uh, show detected results here yeah. on the original image. So we have black rectangle here. And uh, here we can see a region output. On this uh, page we, ha we have, uh, on this uh, document we have only one page uh, and one uh, detected uh, region, this uh, coordinates of the table regions. And also we have confidence uh, and score of detection. And uh, also we have, uh, I forgot uh, to notice this about our main in presentation that we also have a possibility to set threshold for filtering uh, results uh, for table detection. We have uh, this parameter in our documentation, so you can look more detail. And similar output using exploding the table. So uh, also we have a uh, few pub publications uh, in the, our company blog uh, post uh, 
power candle P. So we can uh, read um, about table detection, table recognition, and about another new features which we was uh, released and we will release in future related in Spark OCR. We have a link here and uh, as next step, uh, we will work, as I said before, on cell detector based on deep learning uh, solutions for improve accuracy for more complex tables uh, and for tables with uh, bad background. And uh, another one feature, it's uh, detect uh, uh, headers and handle complex headers because uh, sometimes head table have very complex headers and, uh, and need to have a specific algorithm for handle it and detect uh, with sometime in horizontal and vertical headers and uh, this important part and we will work on it we have this in our uh, roadmap and uh, as i said also before it's a uh, different output formats uh, you can find a link to all notebooks uh, to here to the workshop repository to the documentation uh, also for our uh, table detection model can be fine-tuned and uh, for fine-tuning uh, we can use uh, annotation lab for uh, annotate uh, data sets if you need to detect uh, very specific tables uh, which you can't uh, detect it by the existing models we have uh, notebooks for training uh, fine-tuning models so we can build pipeline with uh, uh, annotate uh, data set using connotation lab and after that uh, fine-tune uh, uh, models on table detection for get for have more accurate results from table detection. Our blog post and also links to the data sets. And now we have answering questions time. Great, thank you, Nicola. I do see that we've got some questions here in the Q&A, so I will go ahead and turn it over to you. Okay, we have uh, some questions. Uh, first one related uh, to the performance issues uh, in Spark OCR. So in most, we concentrated on the distribution to computation because we inside we are based on the spark and uh, when we deal with uh, single images so it's easy we have uh, partitions with uh, and we can control how many uh, images we have in each partitions so we can distribute uh, in good way uh, all processing to the nodes and uh, for main problem here how to have enough memory uh, when we deal with big data sets because uh, image processing sometimes need a significant uh, amount of memory if you compare with text and uh, another one issue when we deal with uh, images uh, we load images to the data frame and we try to deal on with binary images here um, for 
or have minimal size of image representation in the memory if it's possible and avoid to and remove uh, image from the mem from the data set as soon as possible and uh, but in our notebooks we always uh, store intermediate results and, and uh, but this only for demonstration for real uh, production use cases we uh, we need to remove uh, is spark OCR it's most uh, lazy but uh, this using some uh, forcing uh, by using exploding function for the computation because it needs some time and uh, more uh, interesting in complex uh, problem when we deal with uh, pdfs which uh, multi-page pdf when we have for some time our customers uh, has uh, 1000 pages uh, per pdf and uh, sometimes we have issue when we uh, deal with pdf which uh, contains uh, 10000 pages and uh, it's a really good uh, challenge to um, have uh, unskewed uh, data set and uh, so for this uh, cases we have a pdf to image transformer which have a lot of options how to distribute uh, pages uh, to the nodes so sometime for very big uh, documents we have options to the for start uh, uh, split uh, big documents to the small documents and after that only extract uh, pages because uh, for have good performance and uh, reduce memory usage when deal with big documents with big number of pages i plan to describe uh, this in uh, some blog post because we have really uh, a lot of functionality inside pdf to image transformer and uh, uh, hard uh, and uh, complex uh, logic to use extraction and distribution images uh, second one uh, questions related to, to the dl approach we have a few directions right now. First, two directions related to based on the text detection. So we detect text using using we use it right now. Try to use more simple models for have good performance. So we have detect text, and after that. Detect cells using uh, uh, similar algorithm which we have in morphological methods, and uh, this uh, approach uh, has some benefits because uh, it can work great uh, for tables which has different background, which has a, a noisy background so this demonstrated more good results and uh, uh, another one approach uh, direction which uh, we want to tell uh, it's based on uh, cell detection so we are trying to train model which uh, will detect uh, cells on the image and uh, but for this uh, we still we use it we have annotated uh, icdr data set for cell detections and looking also another data sets for how uh, more big uh, data set so no, in most it you use it on uh, computer vision object detection approaches. 
next questions uh, about performance how uh, long uh, time need for table detections table extractions for table detections table detections very related to the resolution but uh, current implementation have uh, fixed uh, resolution so we rescale it uh, image and uh, but we want to have a dynamic uh, size for have more good uh, quality and uh, right now we need about uh, 10 uh, seconds per page but this uh, also no, this is very related to the size and uh, how many to in quality and size of original image sometime 20 seconds and more and uh, related how we improve quality of the original image inside uh, table uh, detection we don't have pre-processing but we can have by uh, adding extra transformers uh, to the pipeline and for uh, table detection we have uh, also some morphological pre-processing um, some blurring and uh, for uh, removing uh, background uh, and removing background noise So next, um, in this. So, uh, in the old resources of the last slide. Uh, yes, we. In any case, we will share a presentation, and uh, I can send to the chat right now link to the presentation. and uh, we can have all links on the presentation last page can spark ocr on to detect and format tables where the cells are not uh, lineage and where the planet cells have been merged Sometimes yes, sometimes no, and that's why we improve it, working on improving. Uh, if you have merged cells, uh, uh, Spark OCR can detect it as uh, one cell, so, uh, or another option. So we will have uh, in near future more. Uh, um, big uh, amount of parameters, so we will have possibility to tune it for, uh, customize, and uh, we have a lot of uh, thresholds, so by moving it to the parameters, we will have possibility to uh, tune it and uh, we have two options here. We can have uh, merge uh, two cells uh, or we can uh, create separate rows. Um, different um, met algorithm, we, first uh, contours algorithms uh, in most uh, created separate rows and uh, morphological algorithms um, I think for more uh, merge uh, cells. Next uh, questions. Uh, yes, uh, uh, is uh, Spark OCR GPU compatible? Yes, uh, but uh, last models uh, uh, not. Uh, we, this implementation uh, compatible with GPU and on GPU we have more good performance but we still don't, did not uh, create build and we did not update our infrastructure for building uh, uh, GPU compatible builds 
if need we can build but uh, main problems are uh, a lot of uh, dependencies and uh, we uh, assembly and uh, very fragile we have with GPU dependencies and um, that's uh, why we need to add uh, GPU dependencies during Stark's uh, session, Spark session, or in future, near future, we will have uh, builds for GPU. Right now, uh, we support GPU for image processing, uh, but for models, uh, we need a specific build. Uh, right. Uh, next question related optical mark recognition. Uh, right now, not available. Spark OCR. Uh, next question: Can Spark OCR handle tables in which uh, cells spans across multiple columns? It's uh, very similar to previous one. So uh, let's go to the next one. What is uh, your OCR solution to convert image to text? Uh, as I said before, yes, we use it to uh, wrapper for this rack inside, and we have our own solutions. Our own solution based on the uh, it's uh, contained two steps. Uh, two stages. Uh, first one, detect text, and uh, second one, recognize text. For detect uh, text, we're using a uh, deep learning approach. It's uh, it goes, using a uh, image processing based approach, VTR, and uh, it's more fast, but uh, deep learning uh, approach uh, more. Uh, Oh, I uh, uh, share it, uh, edit authors, and somebody removed links from the presentation. Please uh, move back. And uh, and another one uh, based it uh, on CRNN part related to the recognizing uh, text from the uh, lines from the words uh, detected by the text detector. So, thank you for the links. And the uh, last, uh, how can this uh, Cascade Tabnet approach be combined with layout LM model based one? Are these two complementary to each other, or one is better than other? Mm, layout ML uh, model uh, in most. Uh, it has a few use cases. First one for uh, document classifications, image classifications, which use it to uh, text and image. And second uh, use case for layout LM is uh, uh, NR. So we can detect uh, and uh, for if so yes we can use uh, layout lm approach uh, with cascade of net maybe no uh, yes we can uh, detect uh, tables if we have a task when we need to analyze for example forms uh, 
which presented uh, as stable. So we can, uh, as first step, detect uh, tables on the page. And a second uh, step, uh, run layout LM for detect. Uh, but uh, for this, I think, uh, in any case, we need to fine tune uh, layout LM for uh, this use case because uh, this will be useful for how uh, you know, analyze some specific uh, forms, for example, medical forms, and uh, for start need to annotate the data set, fine tune layout of them, and after that, and maybe need also fine tune a table detector for this approach, and after that, use uh, output of uh, table detector uh, as input for the layout LM model, but uh, I'm not sure about uh, uh, if you cell detector. It uh, the results will not be useful for layout LM as uh, input. Support HTML out. Put for extracted tables. Right now we have only uh, output as uh, internal structures, which uh, can be explored uh, in the data frame, Spark data frame, and uh, we plan to have CSV, Excel, and uh, if need. We can add uh, HTML. So, do you need uh, HTML as uh, separate uh, HTML uh, for each table or have the uh, same layout as original uh, document? No, in real, we can have. If we, if you need this functionality, please contact to, to the, our support, and uh, we will talk more detail about this. Right now, we don't have this in roadmap, but if you need, we can update our roadmap. Uh, yes, uh, ah, um, next question, uh, does the model work well on borderless tables? Yes, uh, it uh, works uh, for borderless tables in general, but uh, sometimes it uh, can detect and uh, in most uh, it uh, works fine. In any case, uh, for some specific uh, use cases, we need to fine tune model. We can fine tune model and have more uh, accurate results, but in general, it's uh, support borderless. Uh, uh, right now, our current model detected also border and borderless tables, and uh, we uh, hide it uh, this uh, label right now inside. But uh, we plan in next release. We already have uh, uh, similar. We implemented this functionality for handwritten and signature detection models, and uh, in next release we will have uh, labels also for the table detector. So as output we will have uh, also a label in the uh, border it or borderless table. So looks like uh, all questions I handled. So thank you for attention. Have a good day. Awesome, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that and taking the time to answer all of the questions. Um, please feel free to reach out to any of us if you have any additional questions. Um, just to give everybody a heads up, so coming up next on September the 16th, 
we have the next webinar, which is one light of code to use 200 plus state-of-the-art clinical and biomedical NLP models. I'm going to go ahead and drop the link in the chat here if you'd like to register um, and keep an eye out for more information. Thank you again for joining us today and we'll see you soon. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.